the gardener's favorite flowers, but you know, they're not always easy to grow. And many of them have problems, which are the topic of our two minute pests. And Amy and I have a whole bunch of things to gather together. You've got the neat one. Let's see, show the neat one first. Yeah, I've got a really <laughs> cool one. So right here, you can see on the edge of the leaf, there are these little circles that have been cutting out. And that usually happens from a leaf cutting bee. And what they do is they'll basically chew, 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 chew that off, take it back to their home, roll it up and, and stick it to where they live. So yeah, you can see that there if you yeah. kind of maybe hold them, I don't know. The rose just bit me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see the little areas there. Yeah, there Leaf cutting bees. Days. So is that a, something we have to be concerned about? Um, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Um, it's just more for aesthetics. Yeah, I think you're right yeah. on that one there. We don't like the looks of it, however, but there exactly. it is. This is, I brought this in as an example of where thrips get into rose flowers. And if I was to shake these, I could probably shake some thrips out and they're flower thrips. And they'll start to cause a little browning around the edges and they'll cause flowers to die prematurely. I have one right there that just kind of fell apart on me. Thrips are a real problem if you want to have nice pretty roses and you're probably going to have to use an insecticide, but you can use a natural insecticide like spinosad mm -hmm. and it will do a good job taking care of it. Great. You got I've another got, little yeah, one. I've got a sample over here. Um, this is your typical rose dieback. Yeah. Um, you can see it's kind of dying from the tip down and what I would normally do in this in this situation would just be to cut off all that dead material. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we find that other things are weakening the plant and that will cause it to die back. And sure. so Maybe you need to try to figure out, you know, if there's a root problem or some other problem along the way, something Maybe like that. Maybe too much watering. Too much water. Yeah. I, I will tell you, this one here, I know where it came from, came out of a shady area okay. where it was kind of being shaded out. We have other things. Uh, this is chili thrips, nutrient deficiencies, and uh, roses just have little challenges, as you know, but sure. they're fun to grow, aren't they? I've heard they're one of the hardest things to grow in Central Florida. <laughs> well, they're fun to grow and get some great <laughs> bundles of flowers also. So if you have roses, maybe you want to get a bullet into your local extension office and be able to learn how to grow them and how to control some of these two-minute pests.